Welcome, welcome to the stream, everybody. Um, what is it? What is today? Today is the 5th of April, uh, Friday. Um, I'm going to do a, little, a short little play and explain um, update video, you know, before I go to live to play for the day. Um, sit back and enjoy the stream. Oh, uh, I did tell a few people that I will be making a video on the HUD I use. I'm getting that together and it will be out shortly. Uh, stay tuned. Um, until then, I hope you guys can, um, you know, sit back and enjoy this video. We are getting three bedded a lot here at the 500 L table. We're going to sit out because the recreational player has just left. Um, I'm going to leave on my button. I don't actually, these regs do not fold. They, they don't fold. And I don't, I don't mind sitting when there's like some seats open for recreationals to sit down, but I really don't, I really don't want a reg battle. I'm, I'm, I am going to sit out. Yeah, I don't want to be at the table where there's four bets and five bets happening. I want to be at the table where people don't can spell three bet. So in yesterday's video, we managed to get the we managed to get the uh, um, the martial arts guards. So in a week or so, me and me and this girl, we're gonna go on a date and we're gonna battle it out in the park. Let me know in the comment sections if I should give you guys a video of us, you know, throwing punches at each other. I'm going to demolish her, guys. I, I, I'm not holding back. You know, we're, we're past the age of, um, you know, what, what would you say? We're past the age of chivalry. You know, we don't got to hold back anymore. She wants to fight. We're going to fight. I'm joking, guys. If you're chivalrous, be chivalrous. And don't let the world change that about you. Alright, on this flop here, we're just going to call. Could be some raises here. And on this river, with this hand, we have to bet. And so, I think an over bet would do work here, do well. I just need him to fold a three. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I just need him to fold the three, so there's no reason to, um, do anything crazy like a three X pot bet. Deck seven, we have a recreational player that limped. Uh, the first sign of a recreational player is limping. Um, don't limp, guys. It, the rake is gonna eat your profits. I think poker is. A, I, I, I think poker is. A lot of times about protecting your your profits, protecting your profits. Don't get into marginal spots until variants start working for you. I think that's my strategy. I just play until variants start working for me. Oh, let me pull up the let me pull up today's profits for us. I'm gonna put that over here for you boys. There we go. And just in time to have Ace King, we're gonna raise it up. King Five, we're gonna raise it up here. Uh, we have a absolute whopper in the big blind. If we had a better hand, we'd be able to raise it bigger. But you know, 2.5, 2.2 is enough to steal. And against whoppers, I don't mind playing heads up. Sometimes I three bet uh, the 10 nine offsuit here if my opponent falls often. This player tries to steal every time. We're gonna. Raise it up here as a bluff. And we get punished for it. Okay. This ace high. Um, ace high flop we're going to check. And we're going to over bet the turn here. With our no showdown. Well, we have a little showdown with the, with the king. But it's fine. And we're up $22. So... 
in the next video guys what what do you think i should play poker until i can afford we played until we could afford a pet we played until we could afford a gym membership we played until what we played we played a couple of these sessions you know so let me know in the next video what you think we should buy or better yet what is something that you really want to buy so i can play it so i can play poker until i can buy it There was a huge earthquake in PA right now, and it extended all the way up into New York. Um, if, there's, if there's anybody in PA or New York, let me know. Um, and did you guys feel that earthquake? It was crazy. I was just laying up in my bed, and it felt like I was being rocked by my mother. <laughs> all right, we got a 10 high flop here, dry flop. We're gonna bet one third with our entire range on this turn. Uh, on this pairing turn we are going to bet um one third again and on this river we are going to go for thin value and fold to a raise and we get called down for all three streets let's go all right um we raised queen five we are going to range bet this flop range bet this flop i'm gonna be starting doing i'm gonna start doing a lot of range betting on this turn uh we have a little equity draw we're gonna bet small again with a flush coming in and on this river, we are going to check with our showdown value. Like, why are you calling <laughs> Queen 10 there? Flushes get there, straights get there. And that's why he is a fish. Okay. We got a pretty nice flop here. We're gonna bet one third. And we take it down. Uh I'm going through a little bit of a metamorphosis when it comes to poker. I am I am really trying to up the aggression and really take down pots that don't belong to me. Pocket fives, we're gonna just complete here. Let's check the, in the big line. Flop comes nine, four, two, we're gonna check. He bets pot. Um, we're gonna let it go. We're gonna let go to ace 10 offsuit to a short stacker, a recreational store stacker. I could call, but it's fine. No reason for such marginal spots. Uh, right now there are no good tables going on on this turn. We're going to check again and I'm going to check again. Check with the intention of giving up. I, I felt like it, it, I was just not good there ever and i would have to go really really big against a recreational player to make them fold now with queen king against a player that does fold a recreational player that does fold um i am gonna raise it up this is our flop right here i'm gonna bet one third he calls turn is a 10 and we are gonna go pretty small And we are going to check. Nine, 
Nice three. Call the three bet with king three. Nice. On the gun open, this player folds a lot to three bets. We are gonna three bet him. He has been playing back at me recently, but that could be my head. Well, not this time, of course. He folds. And I'm gonna bet one third to get called by ace highs. Nice. This player pots it, but on this flop, he's betting half pot. So there's some splitting happening in his range, and once we figure it out, we can take advantage of it. Uh, splitting is when he puts some strong hands into a, an, into a big size and um, his bad hands into a smaller size, or vice versa. We don't know which direction he's doing it yet. We have to watch him and figure it out. I min click this, um, this, this loose and aggressive player, aggro fish. And the flop comes 6-4-4. Four, four. We're going to bet one third. I think his range is, is some over, over cards. Um, some, uh, maybe we still have some middle and pocket pairs on this 10 turn. Um... Hmm. We're going to check on this turn. And I want to all in here to make him fold the ace highs. He still has some fours, but I need him to fold ace highs. I will get called here with some fours sometimes. We turn a double gutter. He bets again. Does this player does this player have a barreling a barreling range? I, does this player barrel anything but a ace? I'm ch I'm checking. Let's find out. Yep, ace king. Nice. I could be making a lot more playing poker, but I just don't have it in me to play online poker for long sessions. Um. Like I, I can only do like an hour of four tabling or hour of you know twelve tabling. After that, I get burned out. Same with live. I can only play great poker at live for like three, four hours, and then um, I gotta go eat or pack it in for the day. Pocket ace. We're gonna open it up. We get called by a recreational. Flop comes king three seven. Um, we are going to bet our entire range on this flop. Nice. So, on a king, jack, seven, dry flop, we're gonna bet pot. He's gonna call the jacks, he's gonna call the kings in which we beat both. Range bet this flop. Turn comes a 10. We are gonna over bet this turn. Oops, I accidentally misclicked. And on this river, I think we give up.
Mm, no really big tables are going. I don't know. This turn we are gonna go small. Get raised and uh we fold. What in dynamic flop? And we're definitely bluffing this river. All right, is this a what kind of fish is this? I love getting to the point where every table is labeled when I sit down. Let's try to get full so up. So I go take a nap. What do you got? What do you guys? What do you guys say, boys? Let's get a full double up, so I can take a nap. We're playing at 200 no limit, 200 no limit, 200 no limit, and 100 in the lower left. Check this flop multi-way. We are up against two recreational players. sat down with a short stack. Or perhaps we should have a nice long session. Should I make the rule that the stream doesn't end until we make Very thin value bet here. <laughs> very, very thin. Mm. Mr. XD is turning on his three betting. check and based on the size we will call or fold yep nice got some showdown value check it down oh 
boy, we're, we're, we're getting three bedded like crazy, guys. Okay. Two can play that game. Ace 10. I'm gonna raise it up. Yeah, yeah, I, I can I can three bet too. I can three bet too, boys. Yeah, let's do it. Is that how we're gonna play? That's fine. We flopped a flush. We are gonna raise this flush, I guess, out of the air. But if he raises the guy, we will let it go. Now, when the fish calls, I want to pile in as much money as possible against their ace, ace x flush draws. Ah, he folds. Darn. Get raised here, huh? We let it go. Um, six on the turn. We'll call this. And another six on the river. We're gonna check to minimize losses here. Yeah, he pots it. Do we beat bluffs? There was no bluffs on it. Oh, four, five. He beat four, five. Does this player bluff? Yeah, look, so far he has bluffy, bluffy tendencies in the short amount of time that we've been with him. We call. And we take it down. <laughs> oh boy. We get squoze by this aggro fish. I don't want to turn this hand into a bluff against him. He doesn't fold enough for, for it to work. So it would be a great spot for value and not for a bluff. NJC is doing what I wanted to do. Let's see how it would have turned out. Aye, aye, aye. I was gonna barrel that one off. I get overbetted on 10-7-3 with 5-7. Gonna fold against a regular, which is weird. All the aggro players are out this morning. <laughs> Let's try to find a nice hand here, boys. On this queen turn, uh, let's go. I think we could have went. Yeah, this is fine. I think we, we could have checked here. We have some. Um, yeah, I think it's a check on that turn. The value by the river. Gonna open up six force of diamonds. And we get immediately punished for it. But with a very small three bet here. Have I been folding a lot to three bets so far? Yeah. Hmm. Bit too loose to defend.
I've been playing live poker every day for the last two weeks. I think it's finally taken a toll on me, but I really wanted to, you know, make a lot of money this month. Damn. Check it, we're gonna open. 9-8 offsuit, we're gonna open. Uh, notice how we're opening up a lot more. I'm just more confident, I don't know why. Here, it's a wet and dynamic flop, unblocking everything, we're gonna overbet. And he leads the turn and nothing to do here but to jam against this recreational player. If he has ace queen, good for him. Um yeah. He folds. So our last session we lost, uh, yeah, we can call this one. Our live sessions, we've lost 132 in our last session, 87 in that session before that, then we won 117, then we lost 88, but then we won 539, 470, 135, lost 350, 1747. So our, our losses are definitely capped. And our wins are definitely bigger than our losses. That's what's up. Now, on this turn... I expected him to have led the flop. I expected him to have led the flop if he had anything. And on this river... What would he have done on this river? Flush coming in. I'm going to check as well. Because remember what I said, right? When an aggro player stops betting, that's when they're uncapped. So we're actually going to check here. I don't think going for thin value is even worth it. So we check. Ace four. We, we could beat that. Like, look at that, right? Aggro player flops the nut flush draw, and he doesn't put the heat on. It's more it's more like when they have it, they play passive. When they don't have it, that's when um, they play aggressive. So when he checked the river, I just felt like checking back was the best move. Let me know what you guys think. Here we go. We're going to three bet the aggro player again. In position, he snap calls. We flopped a nut flush draw. He didn't lead. Um, we are going to bet one third. And we take it down. 
we're gonna call with our now showdown value river pairs the top card and we're gonna check and we take it down now let's see what hand he didn't turn into a bluff there because i think a lot of hands should have been turned into a bluff that he didn't 10-3 he called my raise with 10-3 so he's very loose from the big blind very loose from bb and you know he didn't barrel it didn't try to make me fold Ugh. we are gonna three bet the ace four against a reg pocket seven multi away doesn't need to do anything and get a min clicked we're just gonna call we flopped a beautiful flop we're gonna check he bets really really small uh so he has a lot excuse me he has a lot of ace x on this flop here that we have no full equity against so when that is the case, we want to value bet. When we have no fold equity, we want to value bet. We're going to call. Turn comes a heart. Don't really like it, but we'll see what happens. We still beat. And now... On this river here. This river will be a great river to uh, bluff with the one-liner to come, coming in. And so we're not going to bluff. We're going to go for value with a middling size. And he folds. Nice. We get three bet by an aggro player from under the gun. We're gonna three bet, not because for value, but because we wanna play a big pot this deep against this player that we have an edge against. A recreational player calls us in the small blind. We have seven, six of hearts. Flop comes ace, seven, five, one heart, the five of hearts. And against with this, um, on this board, I think we can go either bet small or either bet small or check with the with the. I'm gonna deviate from what I would normally do here, heads up, and just check because of the recreational player in the small blind. Now, with the turn card becoming a seven of clubs, we are going to raise it up here big. Get called by flush draws and ace x. I don't think the aggro player has many sevens. Maybe pocket pairs, but I think pocket pairs would have taken a larger size. No, 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 no. Pocket pairs would have been small on his turn, which is so... I just don't think he has many of it. He doesn't have full frequency of fives and all that other stuff. Now the river brings a 10 and I think I have the best hand here very often. So we are going to jam. He types in the chat, put it in. Um, yeah, this is a great spot to go for value. With Bluff your stack. <laughs> Am I bluffing though? Am I bluffing though? Ace no good, he says. Yeah, they have ace here every single time, every day of your lives. And I, I think he has to lean into calling here. I do have a lot of bluffs on that turn. He is now in the tank. What do you have? He's saying, what seven? What seven? What seven three bets him? Flush is missed, straight's missed. He 
found the fold. Um, we are going to raise up. We're going to three bet from the small blind very, very big exploitedly. Um, we got a fish here that we, we, we wouldn't mind in the pot, but because there's so much free dead money with the jackpot going on, we're going to go really big. And we take we take that pot down, which was about five dollars, and then we take down um, whatever jackpot's gonna be. <laughs> Very good, actually. Miss flush. Um, we get we get three bedded here from the small blind by a recreational uh, from, from a regular. Uh, this hand could be a four bet or call. We're gonna call here because we don't have any fold equity. Looking to make a hand. Flop comes king ten five. He pots it and nothing to do here but to fold. A uh, call from the big blind with King Jack when early position, middle position, and small blind. Once uh, middle position opens and small blind calls, flop comes a nine of clubs. We're gonna check again and raise rivers ace. Very bad river. We're gonna check and hopefully take it down. Nice. Okay, flop comes king high. Um, we are going to do a C bet here, something middling, and he folds. Nice. Asking why is the most important thing when playing poker. Like, why are you doing what you're doing? Pocket two is we're gonna open it here, standard open. We get three bet by Lexicon from the small blind. Very linear range. And so we're gonna call it pocket deuces, getting the proper pot odds to set mine. Flop comes nine, seven, six. And I, on this flop here, we can lead out for a, I think a big size because of our range and net advantage. We have all the sets. All the straights. Like th that flop is so good for us that there's nothing to do but lead there and pick up automatic profit. We are actually gonna star that one to review it. All right. We have pocket nines. A high and aggressive player opens up from middle position. We are gonna three bet for value with pocket nines here, with him not folding very often. We're gonna squeeze, I should say. Pocket nine is strong enough to squeeze. Um, and with this loose, I have him as a red tag, but he's, he's a, I would say a recreational player for sure, playing 32-5. Or he's a, it's like a trying fish, okay? Um, he warbets us, and we are going to let this one go. We'll be a bit. 
Uh, over pair, he had ace five. Nice, he had ace five bluff. Good to know he has four bets, four bet bluffs. A four bet bluff, I mean, but he's not finding all of them. Is he finding the ace jacks, the ace queens, or is it just ace king and ace five for this player? We don't know yet, but we do see ace five. flop here we're gonna fold Flop. is pretty strong here when he bets um uh i'm gonna let this one go and on his turn we're gonna bet on this here, we are going to bet small. And on this river, we're gonna, ch we're gonna check here. We beat some ace highs. Okay. Boys, we need one more stack until we can call it a session. Let me know, like, if I need to explain every single hand or just the ones that matter. If you guys made it to the, if this far in this 45 minute session, let me know. All right, we are gonna three bet against a regular with king queen off. squeezing with ace five intrigues me i think so i should have made i think it's fine uh it's about break even for him to set mine on his king high flop we are gonna bet one third i have ace king he knows i have ace king
nice flop on this turn. I think he's adequately crapped enough that we can overbet. And we're gonna three bet the pocket tens here against this reg. Flop comes check nine six two tone. We're gonna check. Keep that small. We're blocking some straight runouts. We're gonna call. River is an ace. We are gonna delay a little bit before checking. And we are going to check again and take it down. I'd like to, I, I did a delay. <laughs> I'm gonna save that one too. That, that was a very good uh, hand example. Um, oh man, tomorrow, these are pretty good hands, like pretty good tricks to help you like not get bluffed and maximize profits. I'm going to three bet the under the gun opener. Turn is a four. Oh, we get rewarded for our, our play there. River comes. We're blocking the straight. He's capped. Mm, is he capped? That's one of our best flush. We're going to go small still. He's not capped yet. Does this player get it all in Ace King? I don't think he does because. I don't think he does get it all in Ace King. Does he? Let's see, let's see his four bet. You know what's funny? I've actually never seen this HUD stat before, but if you hover over the player, you can see how much they're winning in BB. So this player is losing 3.9 big blinds per 100 hands in over in nearly 5K hands. Because it was on the gun open, I am actually just going to check call, check call. He still has some ace traps. This is a losing player. This guy is winning 22.1. Not sustainable. Uh, this guy is losing 16. And this guy is losing 3.8. Like, they're all losing. But what about me? Well, I'm winning, of course. Wait, what about me? Let's, let's look at my stats and see how much I'm winning. He said, I'm time banking every hand when someone throws shit at me. All right, let's see his hand. Pocket sevens. He bet the flop the turn. Nice. Well, uh, it's not it's not bad. He's he's drawing to a two outer, but the two outer is pretty valuable. My policy. All right, um, let's see. All time, all time. Uh, I am winning 4.1 big blinds over 700,000 hands. Honestly, that is not bad. But I think um, it's pretty su suede. I feel like I've evolved after 300,000 hands, and it's way higher than this.
Oh, we get scrolls. Oh, wait, it's almost 12. Let's end this right here. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We ended up making about 333, but we, this might be more right here, depending on this, what's, what this lexicon player does. Uh, let's start sitting out. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure, pleasure, pleasure streaming and entertaining you guys. We ended up making 334, 339 mm -hmm. in less than a hour. Uh, that's not bad hourly, right, boys? And uh, we're going to sit out here. And yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the stream. Uh, it was a pleasure uh, teaching guys anything. If uh, if you learn anything and I made you some money, please let me know. And I'll see you guys again next time. Peace. Wait, let me play this hand first. Check. Peace. And we ended up making 349. Nice.